Mr. Peter, okay. can you tell us how I mean your feeling today? Oh, the feeling is so special because as a kid, I always dreamt about Cambodia having something like this. Then um, they had the Sea Game and and Jessa winning for the people. It's not about her gold medal; it's about the gold medals for all of Cambodia for her to share with the, the people. And I think that Jessa knows the kind heart of um, uh, Cambodian people, and she embraced it. So it means a lot to her that she can share the gold medal with Cambodia. So last night she lost to the Philippines. So can you tell us how she prepare to bond back today? Is nothing has changed, um, you know. In sports, nothing is 100. So, so I expected her to win double gold. She got silver, and 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 today um, she was going to get gold. So what uh, what is I mean the next plan for Chesa? So in a few weeks, she has going to compete at the World Championship in Long Beach, California. So, uh, how you prepare her and how? Prepare. I mean, she prepare well. So, so when she go back, she has to train really hard because all the um, a lot of the other competition is really tough. Also, so you got people from Brazil. It's tough competition because the world is the world championship. So Jessa also, I mean, we are compete in the Asian Game later the later this year. So September. Yes, in September. So how I mean, she prepare well or I mean, since there's a Sea Game and then there's an Asian Game, so it will affect her performance or what? So, come in Asian game, she's the the reigning gold medalist, so she had to defend her medal. So it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. The girls are gotten a lot better, especially uh, a lot of countries. But um, I know that my daughter, if she um, do what she needs to do, she get gold again. Okay, so, so thank you, Mr. Kang.